everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about want versus need, okay? I hear a lot of this. Uh, when I start hearing a lot of the possessive pronouns, I, I want, I need, I, I need this, I desire this, or whatever, we have to come up with a premise here so we can work towards a strategy and a goal. Let's work with the premise that our sound in our room is 50% gear, 50% room. We can argue all day long about the variance in those numbers, but for purposes of this video, let's accept that. 50% gear sound, 50% room sound. The room has a sound, just like the gear. And unfortunately, they're not compatible in most cases. The room's too small. The dimensions don't work for low frequency pressure. Reverberation times are not equal throughout the room. So there's a lot of issues. We have the gear, so that need is satisfied. Let's live with our gear. It's probably pretty good, even though it's not an expensive piece. The gear today is really good. Like I tell people constantly, you know, I haven't bought gear in 15 years, but for the new studio, I had to. And I'm amazed at some of the improvements and not so impressed with others. And that's the way things go, right? There's not everything's gonna be perfect all the time. So what the want should be is an increase in room resolution. That's gotta be our goal. We wanna increase the room resolution to match the resolution of our gear, no matter what the price point is. So in a new build, we can do a lot. We can pick the proper room size. We can get the noise floor dialed in. We can manage the pressure and the reflections, okay? So a good way to think of this paradigm is that we have digital gear and we have an analog room. Digital has higher resolution. And then we take that high resolution energy and we put it into an analog room that's full of problems. So that paradigm needs to be fixed and, and uh, looked at. So. We must raise the room resolution with low frequency management. That's where we have to start. That's the foundation of the building, so to speak. That's what we have to get right from the beginning or the mids and highs that we build upon that. Attack and decay, reverb will, go, will not be uh, in line with what we need to do. So if you're doing a new build, our CAW is a great process and you can See that uh, in a little bit in this graphic here, how it goes. Those are the carbon filters. You can see in the video that go between the studs. Now, those carbon filters have different thicknesses because they control the rate of absorption and different frequency and amplitude problems on different walls. So every 14 and a half inches, the distance between the studs, we can go after those modes. And if it's a big mode, if it's plus 12, plus 13, plus 14 over flat, we can increase the depth of the carbon filter. So we get a, a nice pressure balanced managed room. And we can do it to the four walls, we can do it to the floor, we can do it to the ceiling. It just depends on the situation, dimensions of the room and what the usage is, what you're gonna do. We got the ACDA and the carbon panel for freestanding units for people that already have an existing room. So, Different strokes for different folks, so to speak. Whatever your situation is, we can accommodate. So low frequency management is needed, is a need. It's a requirement. Want versus need. We really need to, to get that managed first. That has to be the first thing. Fundamental resolution equals harmonic resolution. And a harmonic resolution really is the goal, the end goal to all of this. The elevator to success is out of order. We have to take the stairs one step at a time, but at the top of the stairs, it's this harmonic tail that we're, we're really after, because that's where our emotional connection to the music is. That's really what we want to do. Reflection management, direct versus reflections. The room produces all kinds of reflections. Music likes some of them, but we really like the direct energy, the straight line energy, you remember, from our speakers. So we have, this, that's the direct, and this is all the reflected energy. So we have to have a balance. We have to manage the reflections, the time signature, so it doesn't interfere. Reflection management, direct versus reflect. We already did that. Conquer all phase issues in the room. Low frequency management, reverb. 
all kinds of issues. And then we get the resolution. That's what it all adds up to. So we want the room sound to equal the gear sound, the resolution. I want to get the room out of the way so we can hear everything in our gear. And that's the goal. That's what we want to do. So in these small rooms, we have want versus need. I see a lot of this, but I don't see a lot of understanding of this. And that's the balance that needs to be achieved. Want versus need. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.